What's up? It is now time for 2018 Donruss Diamond Kings Baseball. Six box half inner case break number 51 for eBay. Alright. Ew, kids play. Who wants base cards? Hobby's always the way to go. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could get some cool retail exclusive stuff. But just my personal opinion, retail equals uh, meh. Eh. All right. This is a master case for anybody that's wondering. A master case usually means that there are two smaller cases inside. And that's uh, the case here. In a master case of Diamond Kings, there are two inner cases. So in case you're wondering, well, what's an inner case? I think that just explained it itself right there. Okay. So we're going to do that some other time. What's up, San Francisco? There are 12 boxes in an inner case. We're only doing six which is a half inner case, like it says there in the description. Ah, kids play. Yeah, that's that's kind of a bummer. I don't know if uh, I would be getting into that if I were you guys. But, you know, to each their own. It's probably way cheaper. I, I don't know, man. All right, six boxes. There it is. Let's see what we got. My thoughts exactly, kids play. But you know, some people like it, you know. Uh, I can't uh, can't speak for everybody. But some people do like it. You know, they, they want to build sets or, you know, just collect with their kids or whatever. But anyway, I'm, I have fancy tastes. So base cards to me, unless it's like a one-on-one -on -one parallel, <clears throat> I like the fanciness. Haven't done Diamond Kings in a while. Let's see, what do we have after this? After Diamond Kings, we got Unparalleled Football. And then we got some Certified Football. Which we have on the site. And I'm really surprised we haven't been able to fill that stuff quicker. Certified Football is very nice. What's up, Big Ten Analysis? How are you? I'm always doing lovely. Plus, it's a little cold outside by Miami standards. So, you know, I, I got a chance to wear a hoodie today. Hoodie weather. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. I really like these cards. They just, they look like they, they've been drawn. A red frame Correa of the Astros. I'm trying to keep things separate here for my sorters to help them out. Rookie Otani. There's a bunch of Rookie Otanis in this set. Clint Frazier, Rookie for the Yanks. Miguel Andujar, Red Frame for the Yankees. And Otani, Insert. cards. 
Right, we got Cameron Gallagher for the Royals, two color patch. Hashtag hoodie day. I like that. I like that a lot. How's everything with you, my man? That's a variation, actually. That's an insert. A red frame caratini for the... Uh, it says Chicago on there. So whatever his team is, I'm assuming it's the Chicago Cubs. My baseball knowledge is kind of kind of garbage. Baseball is probably my weakest of the big three sports. I know football and basketball like the back of my hand though, but I definitely gotta get my my learn on with the baseball. We got Andrew Stevenson rookie there for the Nationals. Uh, San Francisco says, do you think Oregon State can win over Oklahoma State next year? I am going to guess no. But it's college football, so you never know. What up, Chris Fitz? Tom Glavin, autograph for the Braves, number to 49 right there. Boom. Portrait for Nolan Ryan of the Astros. Francisco Mejia, rookie black and white for the Indians. All right, that's going to do it for that box. I got a nice little organization thing going here. Chris, that you finally got out the house today? You've been snowed in this whole time? It's getting colder and colder over here, man. It's like 59 degrees right now in Miami, which is uh, very cold for us. You got 16 inches of snow. What, a feet? A feet and then some? Is that considered a lot? I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I've never been in those conditions. Really? Broke a record? Damn. Well, then again, it's December. When do you guys get, like, the most snow? Like, January, February? Yeah, I figured. Dang, all the way to March? You went to Walmart today. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do in Wally World? Picked up a few uh, retail packs while you were in there? Yep, I figured. <laughs> we got Joe Jackson, Red Frame. I'm assuming he's White Sox. We got a random this thing. Got uh, two different teams on there. What is this, Chris Fitz? I can't really see, but from the looks of the oh, there's a zoom in. Is that a that's no that's not a silver Luka Doncic. I don't see it refracting. Oh, that Jamal Murray looks nice. What is that? That's probably the uh, a retail exclusive. I mean, you got the holiday. You got a triple J, uh, silver. That's pretty sweet. What's that Murray number two? I think what is that the the hobby exclusive or whatever. Murray's to 25. Nice. eBay 101. If you're into that. Alright, too much information, but I gotta use the bathroom. <coughs> oh, whoa. That's pretty sweet. Andrew Benintendi, 105. The olive frame for the Red Sox. That's pretty sweet. What makes you say that, Chris Fitz? What, what, what did we do now? Uh, 
Oh, see, I, t I told you, Chris Fitz, you know. We, we're, not, we're not playing around out here no more, Chris Fitz. We're, we're no longer amateur hour. We are taking this very serious. Luis Gohara, very serious two-color patch for the Braves. There you go, Chris Fitz. You know, ask and you shall receive. Ted Williams, Red Sox, variation. Max Fried, red frame for the Braves. And Otani Rookie, there's a bunch of those in this set. Let's see, there's another one. And another one. <laughs> Felix Jorge rookie variation for the 20 twin twins. Chris Fitz, tell me how I was. I don't know if you were here yesterday, but I was in Walmart uh, this weekend, and I was gonna buy a Nintendo Switch. I decided not to. Clint Frazier, Yankees autograph. Because I've been, uh, me and my friends, we've been playing Super Smash Brothers, or I should say. Uh, my friends have let me play uh, Smash Brothers on their uh, Nintendo Switch. And man, I felt like a kid again playing that stuff. The Japanese Babe Ruth. Rookie variation for the Angels Otani. That's pretty sweet. But yeah, I almost bought a Switch. And Cooler Heads prevailed. Because it turns out that Nintendo's going to make a, a new version of it later this year or later next year. They're going to come out with a with an improved version of it. That was going to be like my Christmas present to myself. My Christmas slash birthday present to myself. Which kind of, you know, as you get older, <laughs> you kind of got to do things like that. You know, give gifts to yourself. I was going to buy the Concord Jordan 11s that came out last weekend. I decided not to. I got a, you know, I got a good enough pair of J's already. But as far as 11s are concerned, I don't own a single pair of 11s. And I'm not a big fan of the Concords. I mean, they they look nice, but I decided not to get them. So that's that's how I know I'm becoming an adult. Because 24 year old Uncle Jesse would have bought them things in a heartbeat. And the and the Nintendo Switch. Same day. And then a week later I'd cry about how I'm broke. <laughs> oh dude, Chris Fitz. I don't know about it, but I, I definitely care. Especially if like dude, it costs three hundred dollars to get a Nintendo Switch. If they're coming out with a new new and improved version of it. That's come. It's supposed to come out during the summer, and that let's say that one goes for three hundred. Then that means the current switch is probably going to get a price drop of, and they'll probably sell it for like two hundred dollars. So, I'd rather just wait, bide my time, stack this paper, and by summertime, if I still feel like I, I need it, then I'll buy it. Oh, definitely, kids play. I'm definitely going to be one of those people. You know, I'm probably going to. I'm. I'm probably gonna wear J's my whole life. You know, I've always I've always been a kind of a sneakerhead. And yeah, that's another thing that I thought about too, Chris Fitz, is those the Concords come out like every two years or so. But so I, I decided not to get them. I'm I'm more so leaning towards picking up the tens. If I if I am gonna buy any J's. But I'll probably just not. I gotta get new tires on my car. I also have to uh, change some brake pads here and there, and that stuff is not cheap. Especially since uh, mommy and daddy don't help me pay for that. I am grown! Alright, let's see what we got here. Joe Cronin, red frame for Baston. Are you for real, Chris Fitz? That's a, that's a real thing? That's annoying. That's probably why they're updating it. 
so you don't have to deal with that because that is that's a, that is a massive inconvenience. Jackie Rowe for the Dodgers. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait, especially when I have all these games on the PS4 that I haven't beat yet. I'm still on Chapter One in Red Dead Redemption Two. I haven't played that game in a couple weeks. I mean, I'm just getting, I'm getting older, man. I'm just I don't know. I'll play a game for like an hour and I'll just get bored. Joe Jackson, Red Frame for Chicago. Jackie Rowe portrait. These portrait cards are so nice. Another Otani insert. Cameron Gallagher, rookie variation. I'm strongly considering trading my car in to get like a sedan or something. George Springer to 99 for the Astros, but I love my coupe. I love my little Honda Civic coupe. She's so gas efficient. 20 bucks and I got a full tank of gas or, a, or damn near a full tank of gas. Greg Bird, the word, two color patch for the Yankees. Or I should say dual relic because that's not two colors. Anyway. What's been going on with you, Chris Fitz? You never told me what you... Oh, yeah, you did. You told me you got the... Uh, the old blaster box. The big hurt right here for the White Sox. I like these nickname cards. Cool looking cards. Nobody signed Bryce Harper yet from uh, from what I read earlier today. Speaking of Bryce Harper, the sepia variation for him right there, Nationals. All right, three boxes down, three more to go. How much you think that that, re that goes for, uh, Chris Fitz? Daniel Kelly, what up? You're going home early. You get to spend Christmas with your daughter. That's a beautiful thing, man. That is awesome, dude. Nice to hear, Danny. Danny boy. When are you gonna? When are you gonna get off the ship? Which are, are you currently on the ship? Around sixty bucks. That's not bad. You're going to hold on to that thing or what? You're not on a ship right now. Where you at? Or you're, or you're at the station or whatever? You're in Japan? You lucky mother trucker. Make sure to get me, uh, give me a souvenir while you're out there, Daniel. Buy me like a little mini Gundam keychain or something. I don't know. It's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. But Daniel, if you don't get me a souvenir, I'm going to be very pissed off at you. Very true, Chris Fitz. Very true. <laughs> Jacob says, grab some Otani gear while you're there. Well, lucky in the sense that you're like traveling the world or whatever, Daniel. You know what I mean, man. There you go. Get your daughter a Hello Kitty and then pick me up like a like a little Dragon Ball Z figurine or, or a Gundam or something. I'm a, I'm a huge nerd when it comes to anime. And you would make me a very happy boy. You know? All right, anyway. Let's see what we got. That's awesome, though. My boy get, getting back to the crib. I'm definitely super insensitive, Daniel. I ain't even gonna lie. Cameron Gallagher, rookie there for the Royales. No cheese, though. Verdugo, Dodgers, rookie autograph. All jokes aside, though, DK, that's, that's awesome, man. Get to spend the holidays with the family. That's a beautiful thing, dude. I fully expect you to mail me and Jason 
a little, uh, you know, kind of like how Jason has this thing here with his little baby girl. Like, oh, you know, from my family to yours, happy holidays, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Bryce Harper, sepia variation for the net. Like, how many of you guys get forced into doing things like that? You know, going to Sears with the wife and kids and taking pictures and, you know, mailing those out to people in your family that you never speak to? Nellie Fox, the Chicago Red Frame. Got the thing there. Shohei Otani, rookie variation for the Angels. Well, these are both Astros. Thought I had to random that. Nelly Fox, 1099, silver frame. White Sox mojo. Or it says Chicago. I'm not sure if it's the White Sox or the Cubs. Because I don't know anything about baseball. Chris Sale, that's a two-color patch for the Red Sox, I know that. Boom, boom. How about them Dolphins, though, Chris Fitz? I didn't get to talk to you about it yesterday. I know you're not a Patriots fan, so you could care less, but I know you seen it. I know you seen that ending. Oh! Paul Goldschmidt, Goldie for the uh, D-backs, even though he's a Cardinal now. Dude, you have no idea how happy I was, Chris Fitz. That was, I, my team has never won a Super Bowl since I've been alive. So I can only imagine what that feeling is like. That's I, that's probably what it feels like. That That's how happy I was. Uh, it felt like we had won a Super Bowl. And I've seen some crazy games, you know. I've seen the Monday Night Miracle where the Jets came back and beat the beat the Dolphins. That was one of the most heartbreaking losses of all time. You know, I've seen uh I I've seen freaking uh, the Dolphins avoid going un, you know, losing every single game in a season on a walk-off touchdown, you know, catch by Greg Campanero or whatever his name is. Shoot, I remember the, there was another Monday Night Miracle where the Dolphins, we finished the season 4-12. and 12. The, uh, the, the Patriots finished their season 14-2. and two, And one of those two losses was to Miami on Monday Night Football. It was 22-21. And this was when the Patriots were like the Patriots at their full power. This was like 2004. But this victory takes the cake. Oh, man. It was so awesome to see Tom Brady's face on the sideline with no time for you to go on the field and pull off your miracle shenanigans. Oh, no. That was so awesome. What up, Marcello? Josh, I will always talk about that. That that is gonna be until next season. There, there is. Yes, yes, I am still talking about that, and I'll probably talk about it forever. All right, let's see what's in this fifth box here. Only one patch, one auto per box in this stuff. Giancarlo Stanton, Yankees variation. Got a random this thing. Or maybe not. So far I got two of them. If that stays the same, then I'll just give one to each. Victor Robles of the Nationals, rookie patch auto to $2.99. Pretty sweet.
Austin Hayes rookie variation. Astros insert there. Steelers and Pats. Ah, the Steelers got that. I mean, the Patriots got that. Manny Machado, Orioles red frame. Steelers are very overrated in my opinion. They got a great offense, don't get me wrong, but they can't stop anybody on defense. Davers of the Red Sox, rookie black and white. Patriots should have that no problem. Unless that loss to the Dolphins really affected their psyche. <laughs> Bobby Thompson, New York Red Frame. Dude, I'm still thinking about that press conference. Dude, Gronk sounded like he... Gr Gronk was, like, really, really upset. Francisco Mejia, the Indians, two-color patch. I'm sure, I'm sure he feels... You know, responsible. You know, but that was that was just a that was a team loss. But I've I've never heard Gronk sound so defeated. It was amazing. Lou Gehrig, Yankees variation. He's talking about oh, you know, this loss is gonna really see. You know, we're gonna see what we're really made of. Blah blah blah. Ty Cobb, Tigers red frame. I love it. Oh man. Hopefully, this is the beginning of the end for the Patriots. And this is the beginning of the end for this break. Box number six right here. Let's see what we got. I don't know about Garrett, though. Jason Garrett. Not for nothing. Has kind of salvaged this season. They're number one in their division. If I, if I had told you... Like six weeks ago, you'd probably think I'm crazy. As far as Jimmy G is concerned, it sucks that he got hurt. It, it would have been nice to, uh, to see what he's really made of. Because I don't really buy what he did last year at the end of the season. Small sample size. I want to see if he can do it for a whole season and be consistent. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that because of his injury. So I hope he comes I hope he comes back strong. And we'll see what he got next year. Ra Ra knows apparently the Pats will be 12 and 4 this season. As long as they don't win the Super Bowl, I'm happy. I don't know, Rara. I think I think the Dolphins' uh, win rattled the the Patriots' cage a lot there. Andrew McCutcheon, San Francisco Red Frame. Tom Brady did a lot of unbrady like things in that game. I don't know if it's the I don't know if it's Miami or what, but I don't know. Patriots were a little little razzle dazzled there. Shohei Otani, rookie to ninety nine. The artist proof for the Angels, pretty sweet. Honus Wagner, variation for the Pirates. Mejia, red frame for the Indians, rookie. <coughs> Excuse me. We got Clay Kershaw, Dodgers dual relic. Dolphins are going to need low-key miracle to get into the playoffs. Chancisco, rookie for the Orioles. I mean, even if we do get into the playoffs, we're not going to advance past the first round, I don't think. Lou Gehrig, Yankees red frame. It'd just be, it'd be nice to say, hey, my boys got in the playoffs. We ain't going to do shit, but, you know, we're there. <laughs> we got invited to the dance, you know.
Francisco Mejia, rookie, black and white. All right, the last stack. We got Andrew Stevenson, Nationals. Rookie patch auto to 299. Nationals did very well this break. That's the second autograph for them, I think, right there. All right. Whoa. Ahmed Rosario, rookie for the Mets. And that's going to do it for the break. All right. So I said we're going to have to uh, random these two. But since I only got two of them, I'm going to give one to each. So one's going to the Yankees. The other one is going to the Angels. So let me go ahead and uh, write that on the card. So my sorters know what to do. Boom. Done and done. One for the Angels. One for the Yankees. Spreading the love right there. All right, we got some numbered cards. We got Otani to 99 for the Angels. Artist Proof. That's pretty sweet. And we got Nelly Fox, the Silver Frame to 99 for Chicago. Some other nice things. We also got this Olive Frame with the Sepia uh, variation there for the Red Sox. Andrew Benintendi, one of five. Extremely rare hit. That's pretty sick. Very nice looking card for the Red Sox couple nickname cards we got the big hurt for the white Sox and the japanese babe ruth for the angels all right patches we got kershaw dodgers mejia indians sale red Sox, bird yankees gohara braves and gallagher royals autographs we have stevenson nationals 299 robles nationals 299 verdugo dodgers Springer Astros to 99, Frazier Yankees, and Glavin of the Braves to 49. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.